Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And uh, let me show you something. This is kind of a long-term project. I've been a little busy. I don't plan to put anything here. So this is the coal farm up there. Boop. Oh, let me grab a few slabs. And woohoo. Yeah, we can do that. And uh, yeah. So I've been I've been uh, wanting to fight a wither and I'm looking for a good spot to do it. Looking for a place to trap the wither in the bedrock. Just a little bit. It's a little bit cheesy, but you know, hey. Uh, looking for spots and man, it's like this one's really close. I mean, not super close. Um, looking for, and I've done some testing on this, looking for a complete ring. So that would be eight bedrock in a ring. And uh, with the center block being uh, being uh, netherrack and being t at least two blocks up. So this one's super close. If this right here, if that were bedrock, this would be a good spot. It's not, however, so um, I, I've come across a couple that are close, but um, it's really freaking annoying. So, so I just kind of go along here and dig out and hope I don't run into any lava pockets. And I get down to the end down here, we'll take a look. Plop, 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 plop. gas down there somewhere oh wow there we go so then come up along here and just look for potential potential spots given the frequency oh oh hey hello uh, oh no no because these aren't okay Oh boy, and then to make sure that uh, I don't get zombie pig men spawning down here. Um, oops. Yeah, we'll just do that. Uh, I've been half slabbing this whole thing. Coming up with a lot of extra netherrack. Um, I don't know what to do with it. Plop. So, anyway. This is something I'm just going to be working on periodically as I go through here. Um, if I can find a good spot, I'll use it. No. But uh, given the... There's four layers of bedrock at the top here. Just like there's four layers of bedrock at the bottom of the world, of the overworld. And uh, so you get certain distribution of bedrock to um, to netherrack up here and uh, given how frequently at this fourth layer like the top layer is always bedrock right uh, it's solid bedrock <clears throat> um, and given the two the the three layers below it have some sort of distribution of bedrock to netherrack i don't know what that distribution is i can probably calculate it and if i did i could figure out what the chances of me finding a spot in the bedrock that would be appropriate that would work for this would be um and i could probably come up with an estimate of how big of an area on average that I would have to dig out in order to find one but you know okay uh, let's see and then we dig this down and I've been trying to space these out so I don't use too many torches in the process here but it's it's rough so anyway um, this is kind of boring and I'm not gonna keep doing this on camera but and then I started digging out further up because if I found a ring at the second layer of bedrock that could work as well and 
I found a couple that are close, but nothing exactly like what I want or need. Um, so that's uh, so yeah, been a little frustrating, but that's fine. I know it's 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 gonna go. It's gonna be kind of rare. So I've been doing that, and of course this is rough on the picks, so I do a whole mess. I go up to the gold farm and repair the picks. It works. Uh, and then I'll have this area here, which I suppose I could do something with, the leftover, but I'll probably just block off the, uh, the tunnel up to the farm itself, so that you don't even come across this, because it's kind of pointless. Uh, having this much space here, but you know. Bloop. Woo. So, um, so what's been going on? Not a whole lot. I've been working. Um, we've got some interesting jobs, projects in that uh, I've been working on that are related to uh, the award season which is coming up so we're going to start seeing um, most award shows like the Oscars and the and the Golden Globes and and all those will not be on the television the, the award shows themselves don't start don't happen until next year uh, but People need to be able to vote on things. So the uh, the voting periods are starting and people need to be able to watch the, uh, the, the nominations and watch the, the, not just the nominations, but also watch uh, eligible titles so that they can vote on the nominations. And all the all the, the award shows have their schedules of when the voting occurs and stuff. Uh, shows, movies, and TV shows that are eligible are eligible in certain time periods. So, like they had to have been released uh, during a certain time frame, and then there's a period in which they can be nominated and. Uh, period in which voting occurs uh, for the nomination and then after the nomination people watch them so that they can uh, vote on them for the actual awards so we're working on a project that's related to that um, oops didn't really need to dig that out but uh, so that's 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 I've been busy with sort of getting ready for that um, and then, uh, um, yeah, and then I have to, at some point, go up to the Bay Area to, uh, start doing some work on the house, um, make sure that everything's still okay. Um, I, I don't know if I talked about this on camera and not my father died <clears throat> a few weeks ago and uh, so so the house right now is just sitting there and we have neighbors you know checking on it and whatnot and getting the mail but <clears throat> um, at some point we're gonna have to empty it out and get ready so we can sell the house and but there's all sorts of things we have to worry about legal legal concerns it's a big pain in the butt um, and uh, I don't recommend it but not that anybody has any control over it so uh, so that's kind of boring and depressing so I'm gonna have to go up uh, we have to figure out when to do that but I'm gonna have to go up and work on uh, that stuff at some point over the next few weeks and I 
eventually I have to find a spot that will work, right? I mean, it's random. <laughs> the uh, arrangement of... Oh. Darn. That's getting close, but it's not, not, it's not right. So. Man. It needs to be two blocks, the, the hole needs to go up two blocks, and the bottom of the hole needs to be surrounded by bedrock. Otherwise, the, the wither can uh, break its way out. And we don't want that, because that's, uh, we don't want the wither destroying things, breaking out and going insane, blowing up the gold farm. That would kind of suck. Um, so, anyway, what else is going on? Um, not much. Oh, goodness gracious. This is dumb. This is stuff I should be doing while watching bad TV. There's plenty of that. Oh, boy. Anyway. Um, other news on the server... There's other news, and let me uh, let me show you. Give me a sec. There used to be a mountain here. I've been tearing it down. Why? Uh, because you know I want uh, sand, <laughs> and this you know the top layers of sand. But I also need a bunch of sandstone um, for something that I'm working on. Have an idea about. I need to figure out. Uh, where I can where I can do it because it's a big project and it's something that's going to take me quite a while and I'm going to have to kind of work on it so I've been tearing down this whole this whole plateau here it used to be a mountain <laughs> it is the mountain's now gone and I'm just going tearing it down layer by layer and it's really slow and painful work and uh, I need to figure out what to do with all the sandstone, I know what to do. I just need to figure out where I can do it. And, oh, uh, look. Desert squid. So, yeah. This is uh, this is where I'm gathering resources. Uh, hello, Mr. Bunny. Woohoo. Woohoo. Whoa. Uh, some lag there. I don't know why we're having network issues. Anyway. So these chests are all filling up with sandstone and the squid's a little lost. Uh, and it seems like I've got a lot of chests of sandstone here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, but I'm going to need a lot more than that. And I've got a bunch of sand here. And I got a bunch of sand here. And uh, of course, occasionally I end up killing I got more sandstone here, sandstone, sandstone. So I've got, you know, about 12 chests of sandstone. But believe it or not, what I'm thinking of doing, I need a ton more than that. Like, oh, I don't even know where I'm going to put all of it. Uh, so this also wears down the picks and the shovels pretty quickly. Um, fortunately, this stuff mines very quickly. So I don't, uh, it's not too painful. It's just, just a bit of uh, tedium bit of work but you know it's something to do again while watching bad tv um and yeah so and i'm very happy that this is sandstone this far down oops hello come on there we go uh i was i was afraid that i would end up running into you know that the core of the mountain would more or less be stone with just layers of sandstone and sand so i was thinking i was going to have to make all the sandstone with sand that i dug up and i was going to have to go find a source of sand somewhere else uh, i may have to find a source of sandstone somewhere else but uh but this is great that i can get so much without too much work so so I've been working on this. It's uh, 
it's a little bit it's a little bit of a pain but it works and again I need to figure out where I can build the thing I'm planning on building um, when Windows 11 comes out and I can start loading all this stuff into shulker boxes that will be nice because it'll make transporting it a little easier I'm hoping I can build it I don't think what I'm trying to do will sort of work right here because of this water but I could I could fill in some of this but um, so I may have to see if there's enough space and if it'll fit over there which means I'll have to flatten more desert um, so that, that won't be too bad that'll give me more sand and sandstone to work with but there we go so anyway this is uh, project number two it's been underway for a little bit uh, I go and unfortunately this sandstone doesn't care if you're using silk touch or fortune you get the same results either way so I go and wear down my silk touch pick for a bit and then I go and wear down my my fortune pick for a bit and when they both get down I then go to the gold farm and get them all repaired up uh, so that's that's nice and get some more gold and some more levels and you can see I've got 206 levels now that's how much time I've been spending at the gold farm um, and so yeah and then I go dump off my pockets empty them out and go sleep in the bed when the sun goes down which is starting to head that way but so that's uh this is just just uh tedious worky work there we go so the other thing do I have why don't I have a bed in here oh that's annoying and I don't have the materials to make one that's really dumb okay so I'm gonna wait for the Sun to go down here and sleep in the bed so that I have brand new day to set out for the next thing I want to show you and that's the the other news on the server that I'm was hinting at earlier so I'll, I'll we'll, we'll see you when the sun's starting to go down so I'll see you when uh, when we get up in the morning all right see you in a bit oh good morning all right so I was able to tear down a little bit more there and let's head off this way so uh, other news from the last week that I personally find kind of exciting the Nobel Committee awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature to Bob Dylan stretches the uh, the definition that most people have of the word literature uh, because his primary uh, medium is song hello mr. black sheep uh, but if you spend much time listening to Bob Dylan music and paying attention to the lyrics um, I think it's not hard to, to not hard to hear just how literary and um, poetic his uh, lyrics are uh, so I think it's pretty exciting uh, that's not the first time that a musician has been awarded Nobel Prize for Literature uh, but it has not happened frequently and it has not always happened uh, when it has happened in the past it hasn't been for someone whose primary uh, primary form was uh, music so so that's pretty exciting I'm a huge Bob Dylan fan and uh, gave me a good excuse to go listen to a few of his albums uh, over the last couple of days um, never need an excuse to listen to Bob Dylan but uh, having having this made a good reason to revisit some of my favorite Dylan albums uh, probably the first one that I 
really discovered that that was actually like a studio album was uh, Blood on the Tracks, which was from the mid 70s. And the follow up to that, which was an album called Desire. They're both fantastic records. And uh, so, again, never need an excuse to listen to Bob Dylan, but it was a good reason to. Okay, so look at this. Okay, this doesn't look all, oops. This doesn't look all that exciting just yet, but look at this. There's a cobblestone pillar here with torches on it. And you can see Risk and C's big hole in the ground over there. And you can see, woohoo, um, a little pointer into the ground that somebody else dug. I'm not entirely sure who put that there. But these pillars were to mark the location where uh, VexFX was thinking of building. He is back on the server. He took a little break from Minecraft, but he is uh, starting to play again. We wandered out a little bit, and I gave him a, a brief tour uh, and showed him some areas where I thought there was enough room for him to put up the kind of construction he likes building. And I think this is this is a good area here. There's a lot of space, and uh, this hill can be flattened out a little bit, and he's got plenty of room, but he's still close enough to the community area and the other bases that, you know, we're, we're nearby. We're neighbors still, which is cool. So that's what's going on here. Uh, we started clearing out some of the grass and whatnot, but I uh, would have liked to have been able to record that uh, tour, but it happened kind of spontaneously and I wasn't in a spot where I could record it. Uh, but that's cool. This uh, ravine down here hasn't really been explored all that much, I don't think. Uh, so there's some room for that. We were discussing mine strategy because last season, oh no, somebody's been down here. And I'm going to guess that it's uh, risk and see based on the cobblestone bridges. Okay, that's fine. Um, last season we had huge mining issues to the point where I ended up relocating to a base thousands of blocks away because I wanted to spot where nobody else was mining. Uh, so we, we sort of strategized on, on mining so that we wouldn't run into each other because I have my little mining set up and it's a pretty extensive so uh, he's, I kind of my base is over that way and I'm mining out that way so he's going to dig down and he's going to mine out this way and we shouldn't have any problems no contention or shouldn't run into each other at all so yeah so I, I don't know what's going on there Maybe Risk and see will uh, tear that all out and then build something cool on the inside of the hole. I think that would be pretty slick. So anyway, so you can see, here's the uh, community area, which we need, still need to decorate. But you can see the, the pillars there, so, so VexFX's place would be visible there, which is cool. Um, and then we can dig out and flatten this area a bit and do some some decoration I think this would be I think this will be really cool um, he's interested in that uh, and uh, there's some starter farms over here for him to sort of uh, to work with so he's got some stuff that he can start with which is good uh, woo um, this house is more or less abandoned at this point it's a really cool build it's just too bad but uh, so I left I left this for net slayer and he hasn't picked it up yet and this was ages ago uh, I believe that was on on a video so so anyway um, yeah I sort of suggested that that area there is really good there's a lot of jungle here and uh, the jungle could be a really cool space I mean built on the edge of the jungle here. This house is, I really do like the design of this house. It's its kind of modern without being kind of pointless. Um, pretty, pretty neat little house. So, so anyway, 
we need to fill in some of these creeper holes don't we that will have to be a project too so anyway i think that's all i wanted to show you uh chihuahua power g is out seeing a band down in san pedro tonight and uh i don't really know the band so in san pedro is so far away and i have to get up in the morning to go to crash space because we're having our uh, monthly 3d printer meetup and uh, I teach a class on how to do 3d printing okay uh, so so want to get to bed at a reasonable time tonight oh yeah when uh, Vex, FX, Vex, Vex FX got on the server he was wandering around the community area here and then he started taking arrow shots and he's like why is those skeleton not burning in the in the sunlight and uh, he had accidentally wandered in and triggered a um, skeleton horse trap um, and I I helped him take out the skeleton riders is this a leftover skeleton horse or is this another trap I think I would have triggered it by now if it was another trap. Hi. Oh, you don't have much heart, many hearts at all, but you're not throwing me off. Will you be my friend? I have, I have a chest here and I have a saddle on that chest. Um, can I put you here? Yeah, you're already tamed. Okay. Oh, I wonder if Vex tamed this guy. I don't know. Okay, well, let's figure out where to put him. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of hearts at all there. In fact, he's got less than a normal horse. Okay, well, that's kind of that's kind of annoying. But you wanna you wanna rest with the pigs? Uh, can you jump a two block height? If I bring you in there, can you get out? Let's see, do we have a convenient spot to test that? Or should we, do we have to make one? Oh, we can test it right here. Oops. Okay. Um, no, that's not good. Oh, we can do it here. Uh, no, I don't think so. Nope, he cannot jump a two block height. Okay, this horse kind of sucks. Oh, well. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. We will, uh, can't swim too well. How am I going to get you home? Or am I going to bring you home? All right. Okay. That's it. I'm just rambling on now. So, cool. Um, we have a tame skeleton horse in any event. So I think that's all I want to show you. I'll keep... Whoa, hello, Mr. Mr. Enderman. All right. So that's it. Um, I will keep working on those projects and update you as I make progress. And... Oh. Should I take off this? I've got saddles. And yeah. So... And as I come up with other projects, I will show you those as well. Okay, cool. Um, have a good day, and I will see you later. All right, bye.